Oh, 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 oh. Velvet buzz looks like fun. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Um, because partly because of Chick Chillenhall was in it, mm. but right from the get go, because I didn't know anything about this, mm. I, I heard about this movie just like five minutes before we started this yeah. session you told me about it i thought this looks this looks uh, this feels like uh, feels like nightcrawler mm. which was one of my favorite films when it came out yeah. that year um <coughs> and apparently you know directed and written by the same guy yeah. so that's no coincidence um this was also an interesting trailer i thought because we haven't looked at a lot of trailers that sort of for me just just by the midpoint change because mm. i thought that the first half of the trailer was really really interesting mm. it's brilliant demand has people ready to kill have you ever heard of an artist named ventral d's no not in our records and we have everyone uh yeah admittedly it had some sort of familiar tropes and so on and this horror thing seems to be really hip now mm. but i thought the last half of the trailer was less interesting mm. when it devolved back into just straight out horror yeah. territory that it wasn't as mysterious anymore and mm. it felt like there's oh now that now there's the jump scares mm. um and that always sort of turns me off a bit yeah the one thing that I really, that sort of keeps me liking this trailer is the fact that it seems to be made a bit tongue in cheek. Yeah. It has this sort of like a wink wink element to it. Yeah. That Every is time you look, take John Malkovich, <laughs> <Yeah>. that <laughs> usually happens. Should have never stopped <laughs> drinking. <laughs> yeah. And it, I sort of like that weird vibe that it has, that it's sort of you don't really know what kind of um, genre they are trying to make here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think it is. I mean, even the name is sort of yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it is probably trying to walk that very fine line and hopefully it pulls it off. Yeah. Because that could be a really, really interesting film mm. if it if it's able to to maintain that balance between comedy and horror. Yeah. Something truly goddamn strange is going on. Usually, that's so hard. It is. It's tough. And and then at some point, like I'm, I wouldn't be surprised when I see the movie that it would work exactly like the trailer mm. that the first half i'd be really really excited mm. and by the end i'm like they shouldn't have done that yeah. and they should have should have gone a bit easier on that yeah. and and because that's but it does seem if they if they're able to pull it off it does seem like a movie that's not maybe underestimating its audience or i hope yeah. that they're making a movie that's, mm. that isn't underestimating the audience so that that you, they have the they have the courage to not mm. sort of try to spell everything out. Yeah. And there's the good thing is that the writer director Dan Gilroy is, I think he is good enough that he doesn't really make really not like bad movies. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the thing is that is it really I mean really good or just okay? I mean I think that's the variance. Yeah. that we're looking at, but um, I'm always happy when somebody uses the phrase We spent decades in a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. You know, I think that's always <laughs> the best thing you can use in a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... Um, it's also weird because uh, Nightcrawler is... Um, is a, a, quite an uncomfortable movie to watch. Because you really, really hate Jill and Hal's character. You have to make the money to buy a ticket. You have to make the money to buy a ticket. You have to make the money to buy a ticket. You have to.
to make the money to buy a ticket. You have to make the money to buy a ticket! I pretty much hate every character, no. almost every character in the film, but Chillenhall's character is just so fucking sleazy no. in that film. And in this one, he seems to, again, sort of be playing with, at being unlikable. No. Uh, but not to the extent of Nightcrawler. No. It's hard to get that, no. that slimy. But, um, but it'll be interesting to see whether this is also as a, as a viewing experience, because this seems to be more straightforward horror. Mm. Uh, you know, paintings come to life, no. uh, artwork comes to life. I understand it's probably going to be a commentary on the on the current state of modern art as well. Hopefully mm. they're going to sort of incorporate that mm. into it. But it, it did seem a bit, it did seem a bit, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. In yeah, the I end. hope there's more, like yeah. a lot more to the movie than what was shown in the trailer. Yeah. Because it's, it, that is, it's too simple like that. Yeah. And they showed a lot. Yeah. That is sort of scary because they do show a lot in the trailer. Yeah. I mean, it's basically, if that is all that the movie has, mm -hmm. then it's not good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, yeah. definitely. And, uh, and it's nice to see that Netflix is coming out with, up with this stuff. Because yeah. now we don't have to wait for like half a year to see it. Indeed.